the initial sort of like a web two, web three kind of thing was all essentially VC scams. Um, <laughs> Hmm. And, you know, it was essentially a 16Z and company trying to own the next version of the web. So it was not really decentralized. It just had new owners. Um, and, uh, you know, Bitcoin happened, right, about over a decade ago now. And Bitcoin is freedom money, right? And you can't really do anything without freedom money. Uh, you can't even build a decentralized, like, internet or communication without freedom money because otherwise you, you can't really do anything. Um even pay for the servers. Um, so, what uh, what what Noster, Will, and Fiat Jaff did uh, that you know what was it, about two years ago now, Will, uh, when he came out uh, is they created this incredibly simple protocol that uh, that that is very good at relaying information and and being sort of like is like distributed, decentralized, and it can also be private. Uh, it lives in all spaces. Uh, it's incredibly hard to kill. Uh, it sort of like resolves this problem. So you can have decentralized money and decentralized communication so that humans can sort of trade in peace, right? Uh, th there is no owners. There's no company. Uh, same for Bitcoin, same for Noster. Um, this, this, this two sort of, this at least how I see it, the combination of the two uh, really sort of like came, uh, uh, had the stars aligned uh, for, for us to, to build a, a more free future for everybody. So, Will, you, you along with Fiat Jeff, as NVK uh, mentioned there, are one of the protocol developers. What was your motivation for doing this? And then we can discuss a little further exactly what it is we're talking about. But first, I just want to know, you know, what is what is the vision here? Yeah, I've always been interested in, like, you know, new and interesting protocols. You know, Bitcoin really caught my eye early on. And, you know, I've always been looking at trying to think of the ways of getting back to like the early days of the Internet when everyone just it wasn't like owned by corp corporations and people just hung out and had fun. Um, and, you know, it was much more decentralized back then because it was much more a focus on protocols. So I've always been interested in like how do you apply, you know, protocols like to Im improve freedom on the Internet. Um, so, you know, the first one that I tried was Mastodon and Mastodon was like this really cool idea where you could, you know, spin up an instance um, and then join it and then hang out with your friends. Um, but that we, we started to see that, that, um, started to there's a lot, a lot of cracks in that design in the sense that any one of those instance admins becomes like their own little, um, like <laughs> they can just ban you and then you have to start over. So as I was, I was always looking out for a way to like make this kind of solve that issue where, um, like th that we have on Mastodon and then I eventually found Nostra and it got me really intrigued. It was really simple. And I just kind of dived in and, and, you know. And it's been amazing since then. So there was, you know, a uh, an, a kind of exodus after Elon took over. That that seemed to be the big alternative. And uh, some recent articles have shown a bit of a drop off in yeah. recent months. Um, I, I would like to hear from from you, Will, and and maybe NBK. You know what it is uh, that is that differentiates Noster from something like Mastodon? I mean, there's there's a huge flaw in the sense that you join an instance. So I think NVK ran Bitcoin Hackers and it was like the only instance that I was able to get on and without, because I, I signed up to like multiple different instances and I would just say the word Bitcoin and there's just so many communists on that these platforms. I just get, instantly get kicked off and I get banned. <laughs> so I have to start over and build my follower list again. So I'm like, I, I found a home at Bitcoin Hackers. Uh, but the, the, no, then the issue was, you know, every other instance just banned Bitcoin hackers. So it was really just, you know, we, we only had our small right. community. We opened bitcoinhackers.org just to, in case Twitter sort of started kicking off, kicking out mm -hmm. Bitcoiners. Uh, this was a while back. I can't remember what was the reason, but there was something that was going on. I think a lot of Bitcoiners were getting shadow banned on Twitter uh, mm -hmm. because Twitter was being run by commies, right? And um, so we all started like, you know, joining Mastodon. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe this instance is like how we finally sort of like get enough people a critical mass outside of Twitter uh, as, as at least a backup. Uh, and, uh, you know, my my instance had no mo no moderation, right? I'm like, listen, you guys are all adults. Please don't do criminal things. Hmm. You know, talk about whatever you want. Um, and that caused the whole Mastodon universe to just block my instance. Like, so essentially every single Mastodon server hmm. out there blocked it. Um, and uh, we had no communication with the outside <laughs> Fediverse thing. Uh, and then I, I realized like, oh, wait, there is also people joining my instance who I actually really dislike and I don't want to host their data. So I went and I deleted one of them and I was like, okay, great. I don't want to be benevolent dictator either, yeah. right? Like this is not a role I want. I don't want to host your data. 
Um, so uh, when I learned about Noster, it was like a little bit too early. And, and you know, these guys were playing that. I was too busy with Bitcoin. Uh, and then I, I think it came back a few months ago. I was like, okay, holy crap. Like this thing is really sort of like now the clients work. Wheels, Diamond's client was like, this is great. I was pulling up this, uh, this Snowden tweet. Snowden is, I would say, probably one of, if not the highest profile user of Nostra at this point. You know, may maybe Jack Dorsey. Um, but he describes uh, this difference between a platform and a protocol. And everyone involved with Nostra is very... Uh, you know, insistent that this is a protocol, not a platform. Um, he says, a plat if a platform is a silo, a protocol is a river. No one owns it and everyone is free to swim. Do you, is that an accurate characterization? Yeah, I think I think he, he really hits the nail on the head in that sense. It's like, you know, platforms, they, they control the data. They, they, they define who's allowed to access the data at what time. And, and if you get kicked out, then you can't, you know, it's, it's a silo it's, and you can't get to it. But, you know, in this case, it's more of like a river where anyone can kind of jump in the river, swim down it. Everyone can kind of be involved. Um, so I really like that analogy. Um, but yeah, it's definitely more of a, a protocol than any, than a platform. So can so I ask real quick, uh, just to follow up with the metaphor of the river. And I'm thinking now of like, you know, the lazy river at a, at an amusement park, everybody's kind of floating along in their inner tubes. How does Nostra work as a protocol to make sure that like things, you know, there aren't too many people, you know, clogging everything up, uh, et cetera. And yeah, so this is actually a big issue. Um, because, you know, I run probably one of the biggest relays, um, the Domus relay, and it's wide open to the public and it's just getting spammed to hell. Um, yeah. So it's like, that's it's just, that's the analogy. There's like, everyone's kind of clogged and crammed in and mm -hmm. you look at the global feed, it's just like spam, spam. Um, so that's a big issue. And one way, one way you can get around this is uh, paid relays. Um, so there's a bunch of paid relays where you just have 10,000 Satoshi subscription um, entry fee and it just, you know, and then kind of wait. And only people with those keys can actually post on the relay. So that's one way to kind of clear up the congestion. Mm -hmm. so the web is a great is a, is a great platform. And I don't know, we're kind of, you know, abusing terms here, but, you know, yeah. it's a great platform. And people started to build silos on top of this, like, landscape, which is the web. So the web is, is decentralized. You, anyone can spin up a server. Um, but the kind of the main issue is that, you know, how do these, like, silos talk to each other, right? So if you set up, like, Gmail or YouTube or um, all these different platforms, that, you know, they're all independent. So yeah, in theory, like the underlying substrates decentralized, but the things we're building in this landscape are not, and they don't talk to each other. Um, so when I think of decentralization, or at least like the re-decentralization of the web, I see like, how do we connect these silos together? And how do we make all these apps that we're building interoperable? So I think Nostra is like one of the, the one of these protocols that can actually link these you know, disparate silos together, which is pretty fascinating. I mean, the client is kind of like Outlook used to be or something like it. it it's a it, it allows well, you to pull your email into like some kind that. of form that you can organize, et cetera. It, it's I, more I, than I, that. I, I do so like we, the email analogy though in that. Yeah, that's, because that's, email multiple. is a protol, right? Yeah, so and email is a protocol. So the main yeah. difference is, so it's a really good analogy because you can have multiple different clients. So there's a Gmail client, there's Outlook right. client, things like that. Um, so mm -hmm. Domus would be one client. Um, but the difference between email and Nostra is that you know, in some sense, the, the information is siloed within, it's kind of hard to like, you know, you know, pull down your data and push it to another email server. So um, that's kind of the main difference is that the data is much more yeah. flexible, can flow much better, but it's very similar analogy. I think. Part of voluntary association is that people can shut down, like they can choose not to associate with certain people. Yeah. I mean, just build block walls. the relay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just get off the relay or, or, you know, don't okay. like block people on yeah. your own personal client. You just right. can't prevent them from talking. Hey, thanks for watching that excerpt from our conversation with NVK and Will Kasarin about Nostra and the future of the decentralized web. Check out the full interview in the description below and tune in every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern to catch these conversations live and subscribe to Recent TV and hit the notifications bell to find out anytime our videos go live.